Thank you guys for watching the Animal One Guys YouTube channel. If you like my content, leave a comment down below. Ask me questions, let me know what you liked about it. And hey, click on the little like button. But please, if you want, go ahead and subscribe because it helps my channel out. That way you can stay up to date with all my videos. And if you want, click on the bell icon to get notified. Right? Right? Huh? One out of two. Not bad. Hey everybody, Reptile Rescue family. I thought we'd do just a quick video today, or quicker than usual, on how to listen to your bearded dragon's heartbeat, or any other lizard. We'll also do Simba. Um, and I just want to shout out, and there's going to be a link in the description. I use this Paramed uh, stethoscope. It's a dual head, so it has high and low frequency, you know, for kids and adults and everything, which sometimes can help. You can rotate the, the drum here and, and listen, and it comes with different heads and or earbuds, earpieces, I guess, which is really nice. But it's comfortable, it's short, and it's really cheap. Yeah, you could buy a $500 stethoscope or a $300 one. You know, my mom's a nurse. She's got this big, expensive one that she's had forever. But this gets the job done. This is really great. So look for it at the link in the description. Now, let me go through what you're going to need other than the lizard. Obviously, you'll need your stethoscope. You're going to need to know how to use a stethoscope. This comes with uh, an instruction on how to put it in your ear and everything like that. But you're also going to need a little bit of water and you're going to need a paper towel. And we're going to get into why when we get Archimedes out. Hi, Archie. She's starting to shed so you see different colors of skin. That's fine. Uh, but let's get into it. So bearded dragons, where is their heart located and where are their lungs located if you want to listen? And it's common and the same in most lizards. It's right up in the front. It's in the front um, right up in this area here. This is where their heart is going to be, and their lungs are going to be right behind it. So you don't have to go looking in the back. The stomach is along the side here. Oh, she's mad. Um, so it's easy to listen to, but bearded dragons don't have smooth skin like we do. They have scales. Now, if you got a silky or a leather back, you're going to have reduced scales, and some lizards have more scales. Some have less. How do you get around trying to listen because sometimes you cannot hear correctly depending on the amount of scales. So sometimes you need to do this trick, sometimes you don't. But what you can do is you can take a piece of paper towel and you can just wet the paper towel where you're going to put the stethoscope and you'll put it over the stethoscope and you'll put this up against the, uh, the dragon and you'll be able to, or your lizard, you know, it doesn't, could be a monitor, and you'll be able to listen better. So let's listen to her and I'll show you. And sometimes, guys, if you've never done this before, um, a second person doesn't hurt. A lot of the times you'll see vets use two people because the vet tech will be holding the lizard up and the vet can get this underneath easier. Come here, big girl. Slide her around. She's like, what the heck is going on? So like with most stethoscopes, if you've got two sides, you have to rotate to see which side's active. So right now... This side's active. Let's see if we can get a beat. Oh, yeah. There it is. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. So I, gotta, I pick up a heartbeat right away on her. Sometimes you may need to uh, apply a little pressure, but she's so calm. Um, she's not going anywhere, which is nice. Now, let me listen to it with... The wet paper towel now she's not super scaly but some are and tell you guys on her if it's better or not okay we got my little wet paper towel on here and it's gonna basically interfere with the scales and come on up and it's much well first of all we can't see anything i know archie's a little wet it's okay come here much more clear And it's really awesome to just listen to their heartbeat. I, I will make the noise because I don't have something hooked up. So I'll go on with the rhythm. Here we go. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, and then she moved. Uh, it's really cool. Now, some people may ask, well, is it better if you use the child frequency one? So we'll rotate. This one here. Now this could be hard to make a cup, but again, because we have the open bell there, 
We're going to use a wet paper towel and place it right on top of where her heart is. So you hear the heartbeat. And if you're hearing the lungs, which are back a little bit, scoot more up to the front because it can be hard. When they take a breath, it will you'll hear it over the heartbeat. It'll be much louder. But if you slide more towards the front, you can get away from those lungs. And you can isolate the heart just like we did right there. Very simple. All right, good job, Archie. Uh, and it's, you know, guys, what's nice to do is it's if you're going to have the Spirit of Dragon for 15, 16, 17, 18 years, if you buy a cheap stethoscope like this, it's nice to know um, what what their healthy heart sounds like. That way, if there's ever a question that something is wrong, you can listen and you can know. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Take care. You want to say goodbye? Turn around. Look at the camera. Let's get a screenshot photo. Hey, can we look a little bit more happy? <laughs> how about how about like something like this? There we go. Good job. Let's use this for the thumbnail. <laughs> Take care, everybody. Simba, good morning. It's 9.30. Why are you still asleep? Wake up. I wanted to listen to your heart. There's a stethoscope. Remember when we listened to your heart? Yeah, I wanted to listen to your heart here. Could you wake up a little bit? Could you wake up sometime today? That'd be great. Can I listen to your heart? Why you gotta make everything so difficult all the time? Why you always gotta sleep all the time? Can you wake up? Waking up be great. Thank you. Wow, look who decided to wake up. Finally. All right, Simba, we gotta do, we gotta listen here. We're going to the same thing, so I'm gonna try to get an angle here for you guys. Um, right, right behind the arms. That's right where we're going. Hi, good morning. And there it is. Now, now his heartbeat is so interesting to hear. Now, if they move, you're going to hear it moving, obviously, on the skin. But right now, what's really cool about reptiles, especially when you first wake them up in the morning like this, how slow their heart is beating. And that's absolutely fine. They're absolutely normal. There's nothing bad happening. You know, they're cold-blooded and they're just waking up. So he's nice and awake. You can just hear it beating away, which is really cool. <laughs> okay, do you want to say anything? You want to speak into the microphone? Want to say anything to the adoring fans? He's getting pissed at me already. All right, guys, hopefully you've enjoyed this. We got to uh, get Simba out. We got to listen to his heartbeat. I'd give you guys the stethoscope and have you guys listen, but you're not here. But like I said, this is not super expensive to do. And it's actually, what are you doing? And it's actually an easy way to know, um, you know, firsthand, are there heart murmurs? Are they having trouble breathing? You know, are they really stressed? What What does it sound like healthy? That way then you can sound and listen to it when it's distressed. Simba and I are going to take off. You guys have a great weekend. Let's go, buddy. We got to go. Wave goodbye. Man, that's a pathetic wave. <laughs> Bye, guys. Thank you guys for supporting my reptile rescue family.